Hello, I guess you want to know how to install THPS Pro for Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 Plus 2. First, you have to download the mod. You can find the link in the video description. It is recommended to back up your save game files first. To do that, you have to go into the folder by pressing the Windows key and R or typing the path into your Explorer. In there, you have to copy or zip the files. Well, now that everything is prepared, open up an Explorer window and navigate to your game folder. The most common path would be on disk C program files, in case of Steam version in Steam Library Steam Apps Common THPS 12, and the Epic Games version is directly in the folder Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 Plus 2. I have no idea where the Windows Store version installs the game, but you can find it by checking the properties on desktop shortcuts or in the Store apps in the game settings. Now you can unpack the downloaded zip file by right-clicking and extract, or just opening it. Then you have to copy the files into the game's base folder. When the files are copied, then you can do some additional changes. There is an alternative online mode which allows to play in LAN, but it only works for the Epic version. In THPS Pro Custom Characters folder is the Spidey mode. To use any of those optional mods, you have to unzip those. OK, let's start the game. The first thing to notice when the mod is installed is the different selection of videos. The second thing is the THPS Pro button on top left corner. When you click onto it, it will open the level menu, which is accessible with the button F8, but only when you skate. You have to navigate with your mouse by scrolling and clicking onto the level you want to play. You can play some goals in Classic, like collecting letters and tapes, but it isn't like in the original games yet. When you are skating, then you can access the level menu by pressing F8. Level options are on F1, Set and Goto Restart on F2 and F3. F4 is for free cam. F5 adds an overlay. F7 is used for THPS Pro options, which contains some experimental options, as you can see. That is all for now. Have fun and enjoy the mod. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments section. Check out the video description for more information.